Newman in the morning. Common Sense Radio. Good morning, you bunch of drunks. I always wonder what it's like to be, you know, the object of one of those political ads. <laughs> Take down political <laughs> ads. I'm going, whoa. Hearing some of those, like, man, I'm glad that's not well, me that's not up me. there they're talking about. Woof. <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> I know. I love their voices when they snarl. Chris Guster. <laughs> Chris Guster. Yeah, it's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Gateway Pundit, it's Jimmy Hoft. Yeah, buddy. Man. Your site is rocking, Jimmy. You know, uh, you have, I like it. You What you do with your site is awesome because you actually put things, you, you aggregate things in terms of like you, you put together like that email list you put together that was, that was categorized. You know, here's the Podesta emails as it relates to Hillary and her voters and Democrats. Here it is as it relates to foreign policy. You have it all broken down. I love that, man. Love it. Thank you. Thank you. Dude. My brother is helping me with that, but uh, it's important that people understand uh, there's so much information out there. We tried to, you know, group it together and make it easy to understand. Yeah, well, and that's it's hard in this in this day and age as we see all of the uh, varying ways in which they're trying to kind of confuse us and and suppress our vote and all that kind of thing. How about this firebombing of the North Carolina GOP office, and predictably. We get this from CNN. We need to have the temperature come down on all sides right now. Unfortunately, Donald Trump is the lead in terms of raising the temperature. At yeah, the, there we go. It, it, it's the same thing mm-hmm. that they do with Islamic terrorism. It's like, it's our fault. Right, absolutely. I mean, it's disgusting. CNN is a joke anymore. And uh, they, they, the guy went on, he blamed uh, this, this event on Donald Trump, the GOP headquarters getting firebombed, and, and then the graffiti on the side of it said, Nazi, get out or else. <laughs> Unbelievable. I mean, yeah, just crazy. Yeah, I mean, but but that but that's what we're getting from the media, where they're just giving these people, like, it's like, under these circumstances, it actually becomes dangerous when the media doesn't even express even the remotest outrage when someone, just because they support Trump, gets physically attacked or their buildings burned. Absolutely, and they don't even report it 99% of the time. I mean, we saw that that event in San Jose, Donald Trump's rally, and yeah, there was a, they, they have a suit against the city now because dozens of people got beat up afterwards. The media never covered it. Well, that yeah, that was where they had the, the situation in Minneapolis, right, where those people got beat up after the fundraiser? Uh, that was oh. a different one. Oh, that's that a different one. Yeah, they, yeah. They, they were they were pickpocketed and hit, beat on as they left, and no one gave right. a hoot about that situation. Yeah, yeah, it's it's something else. And yet, if uh, if if some conservative, a seventy eight year old Trump supporter, smacks a Black Lives Matter activist at a rally, um, you know, it's it's front page news on the New York Times with photos for about a week. Yeah, that became um, that became the defining. That became a defining uh, moment for the Trump campaign. That's what that's what they used. That's what like Glenn right. Beck used to call Trump a Nazi. Right, and and yet last week a Trump protester at a Las Vegas uh, rally for Bill or Hillary, he got pummeled by a group of guys. It didn't make it in any news. Nobody nobody in the U.S. heard about it. Wow, you know, and there's video and everything. That uh, is that's, nuts. That's the, the the world we're living in. Yeah, that's for sure. Well, listen, I'm glad you're covering it. And you also have, I noticed that in terms of telegraphing to audiences, how about the CNN when they talked about, uh, oh, you better not look at the WikiLeaks. Also stuff. interesting is remember, it's illegal to possess uh, these stolen documents. It's different for the media. So everything you learn about this, you're learning from us. And- so it's different than the media. So what he's trying to say is that don't you go looking at WikiLeaks on your own now. Right, or you'll be jailed. <laughs> and only CNN can look at them and then decipher what's in them for you. Wow. Unbelievable. That is yep. crazy. Well, I'm glad you're on it, brother. Uh, thanks a lot. Jimmy Hoff, the GatewayPundit.com, at Gateway Pundit. Always good talking to you, man. Thanks. Thanks, Jamie. All right. It's Common Sense Radio, 969 9797 866 455 9797.